Man, it has been a while since I've done a discussion video. I don't even know how long it's been. Probably like, probably a few months at least, now that I think about it. But anyways, let's get to talking about a certain game. And the game that I'm going to be talking about in this video is Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Now recently, the game actually got a box art. But unfortunately, that's all we know about it. Because there hasn't been a legit Nintendo Direct for a long, long time. Alright, unless you count E3, but that, I don't know, I, I don't really call that an actual, like, Direct. It's more of a, you know, like, m it's more of a special thing because it's E3, you know, all that stuff. So I don't really count it as much. So, I mean, if you do count it, it's been, what's that, uh, July, August, September, almost four months. But if you don't count it, yeah, it's been uh, probably the first day of June. So it, overall, either way you look at it, it's taking too long for a direct. Now I understand it, the you know the whole Satoru Iwata thing, but I mean another side of this whole thing is that you know these games are going to be coming out very very soon and. We need information, so if it's not the direct, at least have another way of telling people news and, you know, gameplay footage. They're not doing that, so that's why I'm talking about this now, because they haven't mentioned anything. At least Shigeru Miyamoto said Star Fox was delayed. Upsetting news, but at least we're kept in the loop. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. There are a lot of things about this game that we don't even know because the only thing we do know is the E3 build. Such as the roster. I get really involved into a game's character roster because, you know, it makes up for a big part of the game. Probably at least maybe 50%, 75%, something like that. Um, probably doesn't make up that much, but the importance, like the priority is set on that. The only characters that are revealed for the game from the E3 build, we have Mario, we have Peach, Bowser, and then Toad. And then on the box art, you see Luigi. Not that there is any speculation there. He obviously is in the game. Obviously. But, you know, it's always nice to have visual confirmation, which we have yet to get. But, whatever. So, so far we have five characters. Now, something that's very, very interesting to note. Is that we have new characters joining. If you look on the actual website, characters that are in the Mario universe are going to be joining the Mario Tennis roster for the first time. And that's very interesting. To me, I think it is anyway. We're going to be having some Mario characters that have never made it into a Mario Tennis installment join this game. Now, who do I think will make it in? I'll tell you who I think. First of all, first of all, the biggest priority so far, the most obvious choice for this, is Rosalina. Obviously. How is she not going to make it into this game? Please tell me how, because she is. She literally has shown up in almost every single Nintendo game, just about ever since Galaxy. The only games on the top of my head that I can think of that she hasn't been in, at least playable, is uh, Mario Party Island Tour and the last Mario Tennis, Open. Uh, she wasn't playable in those games. Luma was playable in Open, and Rosalina was actually, like, visually there in Island Tour, but neither, uh, both of those games, she was playable. Those are the only examples that I can think of. She wasn't, like, she was playable in, uh, in Golf, which was Camelot's last game, and they, they do uh, tennis and golf. So their last project, which was World Tour, I think that's what it's called, right? Mario Golf World Tour? Uh, whatever, uh, 3DS, right? Um, their last game was that game, and Rosalina, uh, Ro bleh, Rosalina was in that. There you go. So it only makes sense. Like, There's no way that she can't be. They did say new characters in the Mario universe will be showing up for this game for the first time. Uh, another guess, and I'm not exactly 100% on this one, like the Rosalina thing, but I'm thinking that Spike could be a character as well. I don't think this is proof, but if I have anything to go by, it's definitely this. 
Um, this is the closest thing I have. But on the November 20th, 2015 picture, it shows Spike in the crowd. I mean, it's not really a, like a Where's Waldo type thing. There's like two or three Spikes. But I mean, I don't know. I think it'd be kind of interesting. They did say new Mario characters. Or, not, not new Mario characters. I mean, characters in the Mario universe will have their first tennis introduction. Spike could be an example of that. I mean, heck, he was in Mario Party 10, right? We finally saw that happen. So who knows if it'll happen again. I mean, if it happened once in a game, it could happen again. And they did say that Mario characters will be making their introduction in this game. In this, like in the tennis roster, so. I don't see a reason why Spike wouldn't make it in. Now, I have another guess. And I kind of hope this doesn't happen, but at the same time, I think it will. I honestly think that the Koopalings will make it into the game as well. Now, like I said, I'm not 100% certain that this could happen. It did happen in Mario Kart, though. It could happen here. I don't really know if that will happen, and I don't know if it's even a good idea, to be honest, because it's just going to take up character slots just for the sake of, oh yeah, hey, yeah, we have the Koopalings in here, right? That's taking up seven spots. Um, but the thing is, Mario Kart is a big enough series where DLC was actually implemented. Mario Tennis? Not going to happen. So they remedied that situation of, of Mario Kart 8's roster with DLC. And to be honest, I think they're doing a third DLC pack. So there's going to be even more characters. They can fix that situation if the roster isn't up to, like, up to speed. But here, because it's tennis, they're not going to add DLC to it. So if they do have the Koopalings, that's it. If people find that there's an issue with the roster because of them, th th there's not going to be a fix. That's it. Honestly, I think it could happen because they did say that there'd be a... Mario characters making their introduction here, but I I don't know. I, I just hope it doesn't happen at the same time. I'd, I'd like to see it, but like, I mean, it, it's good to be right, correct? Yay, my guess was good, but no, it's I don't really want it to happen at the same time. I'm just saying that if it is hap like, like if it is happening, I at least want to say it before it actually happens, just to make myself feel good and everything. I guessed right, right? Um, another thing that I want to mention, and this won't take long at all, but I noticed that the music is going to be the same too. That's one thing about Open that I liked a lot, is that the uh, the music was fantastic. I mean, to be honest, the music in every Mario Tennis game, as far as I'm aware, is like, fantastic. It's amazing. So to say that Open had that, eh, not really much going for it. Open was an okay game at best. It wasn't really that fantastic. I mean... It's not a bad game, I don't think it's bad, but it's really lacking in content, that's the problem. I mean, I, I know it's a handheld game, but come on, it could have a ton more content if it really wanted to, but they didn't. And, and, and that leads me to this, I really hope that Ultra Smash does have a lot of content here, because it is a Wii U game, um, they can fit pretty much as much as they want on there, but I just hope they don't go below par, or if it's shallow. I hope that there's going to be online in this game. I seriously hope that this service is implemented, because if it's not, there is literally no reason why it's not. Mario Tennis Open on the 3DS, a handheld. That game has online. If you're going to make a game on a handheld that has online, but make a home console installment after, a few years later, and not have online? That is stupid. You are gonna get a lot of hate for this, and it's just, you know, overall, it's not really gonna be as much of a good time. I mean, for what I see already, there's Mega Mushrooms, so there's some Mario elements. Mario Tennis Open didn't really have Mario elements in the actual tournament play or exhibition matches. Like tennis at the core, Mario Tennis Open did not deliver in terms of that arcade feel. Like 
open didn't have any arcade things. The side stuff, yeah, it had some Mario twists. But at the core, playing tennis, there was nothing there that was Mario-y at all. That's the problem. So, I mean, you know, if, if you like Mario Tennis 64 and you, you, you just liked the normal tennis gameplay, maybe it's not so bad for you, but it's unfortunate that it lacked in that arcade feel and the actual meat and potatoes of tennis, because it didn't have that. With Ultra Smash having a Mega Mushroom at least, that shows, hey, you know what? Maybe we should add some more Mario stuff to it. I just wonder if they're going to have um, special moves. Because I know GameCube, I think that's the best Mario Tennis game in my opinion. Um, Mario Tennis, uh, no, Mario Power Tennis. Um, it had power shots. If you were close to the ball, you could make an offensive move, do a power shot, save up. And then if you were away from the ball, like Luigi's Poltergust, for example, you can get it from far away. You know, add a bit more strategy to your game, right? Um, I, I don't see any, any of that happening here. I don't. Um, I mean, I know from the Mega Mushroom they are adding some variety, and that is good. But definitely good. With the Mega Mushroom, I think there is some strategy to it. I think. Um, I have yet to play the game, obviously, so we'll see. The Mega Mushroom may have some uh, some strategic gameplay there, I don't even know. But at least that's more than just hitting the ball back and forth. Which um, N64 and the 3DS one doesn't really have. Um, they don't have items, or sorry, like the main core of the game. I know Mario Tennis 64 does have an item mode, but... You know what I meant, whatever. Um, but yeah, the thing is, at least the Mega Mushroom is there to add some variety. And I'm just wondering, what does Ultra Smash mean? I mean, with Mario Power Tennis, you know, you have your power shots. I'm emphasizing the word power, just in case you didn't know. Um, so, I mean, if you have Mario Power Tennis to emphasize the power shots, what's Ultra Smash going to mean? Is every character going to have a special move called an Ultra Smash? So far, this subtitle just means nothing. It, it, it just seems like it's an empty promise. Like, there's nothing about the title itself, really. It's just there to sell the game. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Like, that makes you want to pick it up. But if there's nothing in the game that has an Ultra Smash related thing, or, like, if there's no special moves, what the hell? Like, what's the point? I mean, on the box art, it does show Mario doing a jump shot, which is the new technique in the game. Um, I don't think a Mario Tennis game has had the jump shot before, which is genius because Mario is all about, you know, Mario is all about jumping. So, it's like it was made for that, I swear. It's, an, it's a fantastic idea, you know, however simple it may be. But, I hope there's something there. I don't want Ultra Smash to be an, like, to be an empty promise. And I don't mean the subtitle, just, uh, I don't mean just the subtitle, I mean the game itself. I doubt that it will be. I think it will be better than open, at least. I mean, if it, if that, it's, it's, it's gonna be a good game. It deserves to be better, though. Home console compared to freaking portable. I mean, seriously. Wii wasn't even out when open came out, even. But yeah. There seriously needs to be something with that title. I mean, maybe I'm just downplaying Nintendo, maybe I'm underestimating them for this game, but I'm just worried because there's no footage. Absolutely none. Any games that were announced at that, uh, at, like, at E3, no footage at all. There hasn't been a direct since. So, you know, excuse me if I'm being a little worried because there's no footage. At all. Nothing. Anyways, that's it. Uh, I'm not going to be talking uh, any further. That's it. Let me know what you guys think about the game. See you next time.